Hey everyone, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions, and I know you all expected uh, Ryzen 5 3600 versus i9 or i5 9600K. The truth of the matter is, is it's very exhausting. I, you know, I don't get press parts, or at least not AMD. I have spoiler alert: the products from the company has arrived, but those will probably have to wait a little bit. I want to get this video done. And then I want to finish up the Ryzen and Intel uh, segment, and then I'll bring you that, and then there's unboxings and tests coming. But here's the scenario. My work, um, I work for a cybersecurity company. I'm a pre-sales engineer. And uh, I'll tell you this. They do not skimp on hardware. Uh, everybody has really solid laptops. We mostly use business class laptops. Um, I have, my laptop has a 6th gen i7, 2 core, 4 thread, 8 gigs of RAM. 250 gig NVMe SSD. For everyday work, it's fantastic. The problem is, is my workload's heavier than my colleagues. So when we got in a uh, another laptop that we use for shows, and it is an 8th Gen i5, which is 4 core, 8 thread, same 8 gigs of RAM, NVMe SSD, my boss said, sure, I don't care, you know, you're the system admin for the US operation, which I am, do what you want, and just, you know, try not to, you know, take up too much of work time on it, obviously, which I understand, like, you know, need to be productive, but uh, I can do some things. But here's the problem. I do virtualization, I do recording, and then I also want to start doing some Adobe work at work. 8 gigs of RAM is not enough. I've also noticed that the 2 core 4 thread is enough, which is why I'm switching. So today, I have an 8 gig stick of RAM I picked up from Micro Center, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install this on a Lenovo T480. So I don't even know what I'm doing with this. I don't do laptops that often, so... My boss said, please don't break it. If I do, I'd probably have to buy another one. But let's have some fun with this today. So we're going to get started. I already did the install, but I did it on the wrong work laptop. Uh, so there's a total of six screws. So one, two, yeah, you can see two, three, four, five, six. First thing you want to do is remove the battery. Very rarely is that not a step that you, in fact, I would do that every time. Um, but if this one comes apart as easy as the last one, then we should be good to go. Uh, it was six screws and then pull apart. Uh, just going to give a little bit of advice, and this just comes from how, uh, when I first started learning. When you get to pull it apart, just be careful, especially older laptops. What often ends up happening is, is there's a lot of hidden screws. Newer laptops that aren't super cheap. Like, you know, this is a business class, business grade laptop. Uh, you know, they're generally going to have probably a little bit less. So, what I did on mine was I just started in a corner with my fingernails. And started to pull up. Only because I've taken apart the other one now twice, I know roughly a decent amount of force without or I'll break and stuff here. There we go. And then what you want to do is get down one of these corners here. So I'm actually going to go down this one here. Why not? Sometimes these corner ones do like to stick a little bit, so just be careful with that. Just to be on the safe side, yep, so I give that another turn. And we'll go on this side here. Ah, yeah, there we go. I say, yeah, the interior was just caught. So, that has one stick there. Ooh, I am gonna need to take the other one out, which is fine. No harm, no foul here. So this actually has two four gig sticks. The other one has a single eight gig. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna take those out. Ugh. I'm going to take apart the other laptop, anyhow. 
So I did it a little quick. So I'm gonna install this and then remove it just to show you. So what you do is there is a notch here and then there's a notch in here. So you wanna line up the notches roughly 45 degree angle is as far up as it'll go and then you just just like that okay now that i have the other dim that's going to go in on the opposite side here so interesting this is a sata ssd not mvme ssd so maximum 45 degree angle that's it so it's done let me explain what happened. First, I took apart the wrong laptop. I had to take it back apart, take the 8GB DIMM out, put it back together. Then, I took apart the right laptop. Find out it has two 4GB DIMMs in it. So I take apart the other laptop, again, take the, two, the 1 8 gig out, put the two 4s in, take the 8 and the 8 and put it in this laptop and close it up. So it's like... You live and you learn. The problem is, is it's very hard when you're looking at like CPU-Z or the BIOS to figure out how many sticks there are. It just says 8 gig. It doesn't show multiple sticks or whatever. So it is what it is. Uh, luckily, it was very easy to do switching out the hard drive. Oh, apparently that hard drive is not even NVMe. It's a SATA. I mean, it's all the same to me for the workloads I do. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys like this little tutorial uh, in between some of the content I'm doing. Like it if you like it. Dislike if you dislike. Leave a comment. Get subscribed. Uh, ask me some questions, uh, email info at pcmodesolutions.com, buy, we'll put maybe some laptops down in the description below, but as always, no, laptop memory. As always, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I'll see you all later on down the road.